Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be on um, a quick and easy homemade chicken pot pie. Um, first thing you're going to start off with is about two and a half cups of flour in a big or medium bowl. And then you're going to add one teaspoon of salt to that and just mix it up. Um, this is just the starting point for your um, pastry. Um, I like to do a double pastry, um, so I like, I, you know, on the top and bottom, usually with pot pies you do. Um, so now you're just going to add half a cup of shortening and a fourth of a cup of butter, or even more shortening, whatever you'd like to do. I like having the mix. I think the butter makes it more flaky and kind of buttery tasting and it crisps up a lot better and I feel like it just tastes even better if you've got butter with it but you guys can do obviously um, shortening or the combination of both so now you're just gonna use a pastry cutter if you have one if not you can use a fork or um, I've even done a potato masher once because I didn't have a pastry cutter whatever you have on hand to kind of chop it up. Um, I'm just kind of cleaning off the pastry cutter because the butter and shortening will stick. And you just want to cut up all the butter and shortening until it's all mixed and you've got about pea-sized clumps of the butter, butter and shortening in the flour. And then um, it's ready for adding water. So now I have a cup, it's um, only two-thirds full of water, so you'll need in between half a cup and two-thirds cup of ice water. Just depends, sometimes flour soaks up more than other days, you know, it'll just depend. Um, and then you are just going to use a fork and you're going to pour a little bit at a time and just toss it around with the fork in like mixing it you're kind of mixing it but tossing it at the same time like I don't know <laughs> I guess that's an okay way to explain that but yeah you're just gonna keep adding until you get um, a nice good you don't want it extremely doughy but you want it most of the flour to be absorbed up into like with the liquid and all that um, but you don't want it extremely gooey because then it it's, it won't be as flaky if it's really gooey and it's really hard to roll out afterwards if it's extremely gooey so um, I think I actually this time ended up using the full two-third cup two-thirds of a cup of ice water <laughs> for some reason that's a tongue tie tongue twister for me oh my gosh I can't even talk tonight um but yeah see I'm just kind of like I kind of just work in a circle until I've gotten like all the flour in and then when it gets more towards like the end I kind of just like toss it all together and add a little more water where it's needed until you have just a good like kind of doughy-ish consistency not gooey just doughy And you end up, sorry, excuse me, and then um, it doesn't even have to be perfectly mixed. Um, later you are going to make it into one big ball and then split that ball in half. So, see, it just looks doughy, not gooey, just doughy. And then you're just going to set that aside and then... I just take, I, it depends on if you're going to make like, how much you're going to make. I always just make a 9 inch round pie. I use a 9 inch, sorry, round pie pan slash plate, whatever you want to call it. Um, and so for that amount, you would need one can of condensed. Um, chicken or you guys can you know wing it up and do whatever kind of um, 
can of soup I guess you want to use. Sometimes I will do beef pot pie with this recipe and actually do gravy and use beef gravy. But this one I did one can of the cream of chicken with one can of water which um, I didn't cook the sauce as long in this one um, so if you are doing it really quickly I would do maybe half a cup like half of the can of water in with it so it's not as runny I made mine a little runny today but um, it still just tasted just as good it was really fantastic so normally if I do the full cup of water then I'll um, reduce it down more but I just did it this time so I just added one can the bigger cans of canned chicken made it easy tonight and then I just I just wung it um, I usually with the vegetables I wung I wung it <laughs> I winged it on how much I just kind of poured some in mixed it up and thought it looked good and and you can use any vegetables you want. Normally, I like to use like a mixed California blend where it has like broccoli and cauliflower and carrots. Or I like doing the blend where I just mix vegetables where it has the green beans, carrots, peas, and corn in there. So whatever you guys feel like that day, this is what I had on hand. And then I literally just guesstimate on poultry seasoning. You can use thyme. Um, whatever seasoning you guys would like to use this is just what I used today and then I just added salt and pepper to it and it was probably about I would guess a teaspoon to a teaspoon and a half um, I do like to just taste it to make sure you know it's well balanced and then while that's cooking you are going to um, start rolling out um, your dough for your lower your lower um, part of your pie <laughs> the bottom part of the crust I'm sorry <laughs> oh shoot but yeah so it's just kind of mixing I have it on um, I just have that on like medium high heat sometimes I'll even put it on high and then here I am just tossing up some more of the flour in the dough and just kind of working it all together forming one big ball see I could probably I probably could have added even a little bit more but uh, sorry not butter water um, but I like the consistency of a really flaky crust and so having it a little bit drier <laughs> makes it flaky at least I feel like anyway <laughs> I am no professional just stuff that I've kind of learned so like I said you just make one big ball tear it in half where you think it's in half it's not going to be perfect flour up your surface that you're going to be rolling your dough out on and Yeah, you're just going to roll it out. Um, I just kind of roll it until it's about as big as the dish I am using. I think I was just... Oh, I'm just stirring. Keep an eye on your, your innards there. And I was just kind of stirring it up. So you're just going to roll it out. And I like flipping it like that. I don't know. I think it helps it so it doesn't stick as much. And then um, I had to I had to put more flour on my rolling pin. But yeah. So then I like to. and it's about as big as my pie plate so then I just roll it up I don't roll it all the way I just roll it partially like that and then you drape it over and makes it so 
much easier when you are working with pastry if you, that trick oh my gosh especially when you stick the top layer of pastry over the mix partially rolling out in the rolling pin and then just using half of it to like you know roll the rest of it out oh it's awesome so right here you guys can cut it or use your hand like I'm doing um, this is just kind of my quick, I wanted to show you guys my quick version of like, oh, just got home from work and want to hurry and make food. I just kind of pinch the edges where it's hanging off and um, make sure it's all fitted to all the, the bottom of the pan and everything. And then I'm just going to roll out the other part of the dough and get it ready. Um, to layer the top on, to layer it on top, sorry. <laughs> I love making pastry. Pastry is one of my favorite things to do. Um, you can just do so much with it. Sometimes you'll have a lot left over with this recipe. And I like to roll it out and put it on a baking, like a cooking sheet, and just put some... Um, melted butter cinnamon sugar on it and bake it and it just like you just got cinnamon chips oh love I love the diversity of pastry so you're just gonna roll it out kind of tore on me and that'll happen you can always tear a piece off that's hanging off the other edge and mend it dough is very forgiving <laughs> sometimes and then I'm just measuring to make sure it's big enough and it is See that little rolling it just it doesn't yeah it makes it so much easier and then you're just gonna grab your um, filling that has been cooking off of the stove and you're just gonna pour it right in and sorry the camera fogs up for just a minute here because it was hot <laughs> um, but it goes away here in just a second But yeah, so I did make this one a little bit more soupy. You guys can make it thicker. Or if you um, add too much water, you can make like a little starch mix where you get cold water and mix a little bit of cornstarch together and then slowly pour that into the mix to thicken it up more. You can always do that. Um, I just didn't worry about it too much because I don't mind if it's a little soupy because it's kind of like eating a soup put in the crust but it's not that soupy I don't know it's just good so I'm just kind of pinching off the edges like I did earlier making sure nothing's hanging over the edge and then you're just gonna take a fork and just crimp around the edges it kind of helps hold the two ends together um, you can if you would like you can use like an egg wash around the outside. It'll help with sealing too as well. But I always just make them so they're the same length and just press that. And I've never really had too much of a problem with it like coming apart. It does a little, but nothing that deters me. <laughs> and then I didn't show it. I apologize. Then you're just gonna use either a knife or a fork and you're just gonna kind of prick the top a little bit just so if it does bubble you don't get a gigantic bubble on the top. Um, and then you're going to bake it at 350 Fahrenheit for, depending on your oven, I it's about 20 to 25 minutes, maybe 30, and just till it looks golden. There's no egg, so it won't, you, know, you don't have to bake it forever. And your innards are already cooked, so it makes it really quick, and it's just all golden and... Mm delicious. This is one of my favorite recipes to make for quick nights. So right here I tried using a, a slotted spoon. I don't know, I have pregnant brain, so I switched and got a metal spatula, so that's why it looked partially like kind of cut. But see how it's kind of loose? I usually don't make it this runny, but it still turned out really good. And I don't have a pie scoop, so I end up using a spoon. <laughs> oh, but it's so delicious, that crust. 
Makes me want to eat some more of it. See, it's runny, but even when you have leftovers, it's thicker. Like, I eat some today at work, and it thickens up. But, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video today. Um, sorry, I was kind of stumbling on my words there a bit, but um, I hope you guys enjoy this recipe, and yeah, if you guys like these videos, then just hit that subscribe button, and I try to post every week, every Tuesday and Thursdays, and yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye!